What's up, Eagle Nation? This is your Eagle Brother, Master P. Dot. Now, before I get on to my content, for those that are new to my channel, welcome. I get my content on the Philadelphia Eagles. Whether it's the off-seasons, pre-seasons, regular seasons, playoff appearances, the free agent signings, the trades, the draft prospects, and the Philadelphia Eagles highlights of all the Hall of Famers, legends, and former players that I have done. Some of those that nobody has done before. Check out the playlists. You're going to enjoy them, learn them, study them, appreciate them. Saying prayers and condolences out to those that's no longer with us. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and follow my Instagram. It's in the description box. We on the road to 1K. Help your boy get there. I would be grateful. Like, I would be grateful. I would be honored. I would be blessed if y'all helped this channel get there. So, um, and this is my KTV. My keys to victory for the Philadelphia Eagles to beat the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Plain and simple. Start with the coaching staff. Nick Sirianni, you cannot play around with the Buccaneers. You've seen what happened like in 2021 and 2023 season. In the wild card, in the first round, even the regular seasons. You cannot let it repeat itself. We need to play hard, play aggressive. Show some discipline. Show some fight. Show some will. Be smart in this game. Use your brains. Use common sense. Be smart. Use your brains for once, please. You should like, learn a lot from what happened last season. You cannot let it repeat itself with these boneheaded decisions. You have to be aggressive. You have to be. You cannot play around with the Buccaneers. Like I said, look what happened in 2021 and 2023 in the wild card in the first round. That's not a good look. So, oh man, hold on. Yeah, it's hot down here, so come on, man. All right, pardon me. That's what you got to do. Nick Seriani, Jeff Stoutland, Amber Moorhead, Big Fangio, Michael Clay, all y'all, Keller Moore, the coaching staff. Y'all have to be aggressive. Do not make boneheaded decisions against the Buccaneers. You cannot play around with them. Now, with the offense, start with Jalen Hurts. You cannot lack turnovers. That's your problem. You, you're already a turnover machine. If you can please try not to play superhero, whenever you see guys open, just throw it to them. You don't have to make big plays all the time. Just like throw the ball, throw the throw, throw the ball away, or just like, come on, man, just run the ball when it's necessary, or give Saquon Barkley the ball, give him the rock, give him carries, twenty carries. But you had to play smart. Try not to lack turnovers. You're already a turnover machine. That's not a good look. We don't we don't know what's going on with you, like. Whether it's outside of football, but like, come on, leave that up to the game. You gotta put that aside. Save that like outside of football. Like, what's going on? Like, what you going through the situation? Come on. That has nothing to do with us. Like, we all got problems. Like, come on, leave that problems like aside, and just focus on playing the game of football. You better than this, man. You gotta show it. You gotta play like it. Throw the ball to whoever, like whoever you see open. What is Goddard? What is Dotson? What is um Jack Stahl, who is elevated, like act, uh, who is activated um to the active roster? He's been elevated to the active roster, like Dallas Goddard, Jack Stahl, Jahan Dotson, whoever, Johnny Wilson, whoever's open, throw it to them. But these guys, the receivers and the tight ends, you have to get open, catch the ball, or fight for them yards. Fight for that ball, catch it, hold on to it. That's what y'all got to do. Now, the offensive line, lock down, shut down, wear out, and gas out that Buccaneers defense. Do your job. Don't get cute, don't get fancy. Just do your job and wear them out. Plain and simple. Same with the tight ends. Welcome back, Jack Stahl. Because we, we missed you, like, like B. 
being a part of the Philadelphia Eagles. So welcome back. So hopefully you can do your job and be that number two tight end that you were in 2022 because you were one of the guys that was like part of the Super Bowl roster of that Super Bowl team, that Super Bowl year. So do your job and do what you do. Block, catch when you whenever you open. Whenever the um devil cover um Dallas got it, you do your job, catch it, hold on to it, and gain some yards. Now, Dallas Goddard, we want you to play big in this game. Get open, catch the ball, go downfield, gain some yards, and get some points on the board. Go crazy, turn up, because we need you to show up and play big in this game. You're one of the key factors in this game. Same with Sa Saquon Barkley. We already know what he can do. Catch the ball, hold on to it. Hold on to the ball when it's necessary. Gain some yards, get some points on the board. We expect to see you away with two touchdowns. And um, I want to see Dallas got to um, get um, at least a touchdown or two. But I expect to see um, Saquon Barkley get two touchdowns. Jahan Dotson, you do your job. Find a way like, to play big in this game because we need you to show up. You've been quiet like, lately, so that's not a good look. Hold on. Yeah, Jahan Dotson, we need you to show up and play big in this game because we need you on this. Because like Dallas got he can't be the only target. We need a lot of targets on this team. Not just one person, not just two, like two, three. It takes everyone. Hurts, got it, stall, Dotson. Wilson, all y'all, play big, go crazy, got it. That's what we want to see from y'all. Now, on to the defense. Front four, D-line, get to Baker Mayfield, wear him out, get pressure on him, blitz when it's necessary. Not too many times, not too much, but only when it's needed. And the edge rushes. We need one of y'all to get a sack this season. One of y'all. Now, now to the front line, D line. If y'all can't get pressure, get your hands up and get pass deflections, just like y'all did against the Saints. Jalen Carter, Jordan Davis, all y'all, Milton Williams, Booker, all y'all, Ojamo. Pass deflections. Get your hands up and, and knock that ball away from him so nobody won't catch that ball. That's what we want to see for y'all. We need some strip, strip sacks, fumble recoveries. We need some turnovers. That's what we want y'all to do. That's what y'all need. Make something happen. Force some turnovers on Baker Mayfield. Make him uncomfortable. And stop. And y'all need to stop and shut down. Rashad White, keep your eyes locked down, shut down Rashad White and Bucky Irvin. Rashad White and Bucky Irvin, shut him down, stop him. Shut him down. That's what we want to see from y'all. And to the linebackers, y'all do the same. Zach Bond, N'Kobe Dean, do your jobs. Tackle, stop the run, get to Baker Mayfield. And if y'all like try to catch an interception, catch it next time, please. We need somebody to catch an interception for once. Same with the secondaries, which I'm about to get on to now. Slade probably might be out. So we got Keely Rango. And we got Quinion Mitchell. And we got um Avante Maddox and Cooper DeGene. But Quinion Mitchell, Keely Ringo, we need y'all to keep your eyes on Mike Evans, Chris Godwin, and McMillan. But most importantly, Mike Evans and Chris Godwin. Those are the two weapons of that receiving core. Now, if I want to see who, who I want to, like, our cornerbacks to compete against who, to me, I want to see 
Keely Ring, excuse me. All right, I want to see Keely Ringo go up against Mike Evans because he's a big body corner. He's going to get beat for the most part. So I just want to see how he's going to do. And the reason I want to say, I want to see Keely Ringo go up against Mike Evans because he's a bigger body. He's a bigger corner. The game I, I seen against um against DK Metcalf when the Eagles was playing against the Seahawks, he did good against DK Metcalf because he barely had a reception when he was still on field. I just want to see what he can do against Mike Evans. We need a big body going going up against a big body. So I don't think Quinn Yon Mitchell is ready for that. So I'd rather see Quinn Yon Mitchell go up against Chris Godwin. That's the matchup I want to see. I want to see what Quinn Yon can do because he needs more playing time. And I'm liking what I'm seeing from him. Because we want to see him compete against the best. To become one of the best. To be the best, you got to compete and beat the best. That's important. To be the best, you got to beat the best. And become one of the best. I want to see Quinn Mitchell go up against um Chris Godwin and Keely Ringo go up against Mike Evans. If some of y'all agree with it and disagree, comment below. But I'm just giving from my point of my point of view. I'm giving my giving my perspective. That's what I want to see. So if y'all agree or disagree, I can understand. Like we all got our own opinions. So that's what I want to see. But y'all protect that backfield. Play press man-to-man -man coverage against them. Please. They're going to get open left and right. Do not give them so much space, which is probably going to happen anyway. But that's what we want to see from y'all. Protect that backfield. CJ Gardner-Johnson, you need to close your mouth and let your performance do the talking. Because you was arrogant and cocky against the New Orleans Saints, bill, which you haven't done much. You got to cut it out, man, like. Let your performance do all the talking. Make a play. Maybe you can like, do a lot of talking, like, but leave your performance do all the talking on the field. You got to perform. Perform on the field. Make some plays. Protect that backfield. Same with Reed Blankenship. Pass deflections. Interceptions. Make some plays in the backfield. Keep your eyes on these receivers and the tight end. And keep your eyes on Otson, Zach Bond, Nicobe Dean, but most importantly, Zach Bond. Keep your eyes on Otten, the tight end, because he's strong. He's legit. That's what we want to see from y'all. And the tight ends. Oh, no, no, I already said the tight ends. No, 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 excuse me. Um, special teams, that's what I meant to say. Make some plays if y'all can. Force some turnovers. And Cooper DeGene, gain some yards, run down the field, hold on to the ball. Or Kenneth Gainwell, whoever's going to run on punt returns or kick returns. Y'all make some plays close to the 50-yard line or half field. Make something big. That's what we want to see. Don't take them lightly. Don't underestimate them. Don't look past them. Don't look down on them. Just play the game of football. Just play and win the game. Be smart. Be hungry. Be aggressive. Show some discipline. Show no mercy. That's what we want to see from y'all. Drink to that. That's really important. Nick Seriani. Please don't mess up. Like, do not play around. Now, like all the play around and the boneheaded decisions, it has to stop. It has to stop. It's okay, like to try to go for it most of the times, but not. It don't always. It's not always going to work. So just go for a field goal. Just get some points on the board. Plain and simple. Don't always go for it on fourth down. Just kick a field goal, please, Nick Sirianni. You're already on the hot seat. And those are my keys to victory video for the Philadelphia Eagles to beat the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. So, now, if y'all enjoy my content, let me know in the comment section. Where's there um, anything else that I missed out on? Y'all comment below. So, y'all um, have a good night. Y'all have a good day on the other side. It's always fly equals fly. Go Birds.